Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on your Fred Expert YouTube channel. So in this video I'd like to show you how you can use the Fred streaming app to bring your content uh, from your workstation or desktop machine to any mobile device or to other people's um, browser. So first of all we have to enable the web interface in Fred to make that streaming possible. So simply open the preference editor and go to web interface and say enable web server. Without that, um, no communication um, is possible at all. So you then can also um, set an authentication password if you host something um, public and you want to access uh, only uh, certain people with a login and a password. Um, to add that, you can, can do that simply here, define a username and a password, and you can also set up multiple. Um, I'm here in my home network and I don't really need that. Um, I think basically that's all for the, for the setup, press apply and then OK. And then you can simply open your web browser and type in localhost as long as we are on the same machine, colon. 8888 which brings you to that web interface and um, here we have different possibilities so we can grab this, this, the stream um, if you use an H264 um, stream you have to install the codec manually um, Fred is telling you um, exactly what it needs and where you can find it so you can download it on the github site of um, cisco and those three versions are supported right now and you can copy it to the um, bin win64 folder in fred and then restart fred and then you can also use that codec um, i think that codec is made for um, very fast changing images um, I'm here in my home network, so my internet connection uh, should be totally fine. And actually, I think there's not much content moving fast. Um, so I'm basically navigating around and change some variants. So I honestly don't see any value in that codec for, for my kind of content, um, but try it out yourself. So I'm totally fine with um, a normal JPEG streaming in my case. Um, and what we want to use here is our streaming app. So this simply grabs um, the content from Fred and brings it into my browser. And then we also have a menu where you can uh, change some settings here as well, the codecs. Um, as I said, I'm using the JPEG codec. Um, and then we also have some variants in here with some nice uh, previews and some kind of uh, order in here. For the different uh, variant sets i will show you how to do that and we also have uh, two viewpoints in here we can then later click on our tablet so that's pretty cool you have seen there's an animation playing already here from here to here that one is jumping and that's pretty nice i think so i will show you now how to um, create those kind of um, variants in here because in Fred it is possible um, in the in the variant sets to define what should be shown in the VR menu and also in the streaming app. Um, and let's go in here. Here are all my variants, and you have seen that they are not shown in that menu. And this is because um, each variant set you can define here in the general tab um, if it should be shown in the streaming app or not. You can also do that on a group level. So that's sometimes uh, much easier to hide um, a lot of variants in one go. Um, and I basically um, ordered my, or created some groups and brought some variants in here. For example, uh, like my, my tiles can be changed. And also um, the different uh, kitchen machines I have in here and also the whole kitchen configuration and those nice um, little previews you can create um, inside Fred as well 
by finding a nice um, view you want to capture that image and then you can simply do a right click and create a preview and I did that in the standard quality but you can also grab it from the viewport if you need it um, in a higher resolution if you want to build something on your own. So I simply um, use the standard quality. So the same you can do for um, your viewpoints in here. So I have defined these two for the kitchen, but of course I'm also able to navigate around in my scene as it is a stream later. Um, and here in the very bottom in general, we have also a checkbox for show and VR menu and streaming app. So I did that for those two guys and for all the others, you see I have way more viewpoints in here, um, especially the ones I created for the thumbnails I use for the preview and the variant sets. Um, I have simply disabled that. And this is why you can actually see less in the streaming app variant set than in my actual scene. So now let me show you how you can um, bring that to your mobile device. So simply open the command prompt and then Type in ipconfig and actually the ip4 address is what we are searching for. So here on the iPad I simply use my ip address um, followed by colon 8888 and I get the same interface. I'm using Safari because um, you can enter that in full screen by simply adding the site to the home screen. It also gives you a nice icon for that and the same interface and here's our kitchen. We also can um, check the settings what we have here. Quality seems to be fine. So now let's see how good the performance is. It's a bit lacking and I think this is because it's my iPad. It's quite old. So we might also want to change um, the quality a bit. See, it's much better now. And we have now the possibility to change, for example, the tiles in the background. We can also change the colors of those guys. We also have different configurations of our kitchen. Yeah, that's it from my side. Leave a comment or a like if you found the video helpful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. Bye.